Hi, I'm Marty Strauss from Kemplate Industries and Distech NA, and I'm here to demonstrate to you some of the uh, advantages and differences between uh, Armor Galv, Thermal Diffusion Zinc, which is an improved version of sheridizing, as opposed to hot dip galvanizing. In order to protect iron and steel from corrosion, zinc has been applied for many years. One of the methods of applying zinc has been hot dip galvanizing on products such as this turnbuckle, which was hot dip galvanized. This turnbuckle was placed in a salt spray chamber and subjected to a thousand hours of salt spray. And as you can see, there's a copious amount of white corrosion and red base metal corrosion. In addition to that, the idea of this being a turnbuckle is no longer operative. This is a locked up buckle. The problem with the corrosion products of zinc is that they are galling and binding and just make things that are threaded lose their functionality. The purpose of using cadmium plating in the past was to avoid this type of phenomenon because the corrosion resistance of cadmium, although higher than zinc, also provided for internal lubricity of the corrosion products so that threaded products that were cadmium plated would actually function after corrosion set in. Here's a turnbuckle that was subjected along with the hot dip galvanized one to 1,000 hours of salt spray, except this one was coated with Arbor Galv Thermal Diffusion Natural 25 microns or 1 mil. As you can see, after 1,000 hours of uh, salt spray, we do have some white corrosion and we have some red, which looks like base metal corrosion but it's actually the free iron in the zinc iron deposit that's reacting with the salt. And if you wash this away, there is no corrosion, base metal corrosion underneath. One of the most important aspects of the uh, corrosion products that we get with Armor Galv Thermal Diffusion is that very similar to the, the, to the um, corrosion products of cadmium, they're lubricious. Instead of binding the parts, which the zinc does, as you saw the hot dip galvanized part was totally locked up, you see I can very easily still move the threads on this part. So this turnbuckle maintains its functionality as a turnbuckle even as the coating begins to sacrifice itself and corrode. This turnbuckle was coated with the same 25 microns of Armor Galv Thermal Diffusion and was coated and passivated with our bronze protective coating, which does render the part more of a bronzy color, as you can see, results in much less white corrosion and absolutely no false rusting or reaction with the free iron in the coating to the salt spray cabinet. Since there's very, very little corrosion product, it's pretty evident that this thing is going to last a very long time and continue to function as a turnbuckle as the manufacturer expects that it would, and certainly the people who buy them would like them to function for many, many years. Another product that's usually hot dip galvanized, uh, this buckle here, uh, again subjected for a thousand hours of salt spray with two mils of hot dip galvanized. You can see copious amounts of white corrosion and a lot of red rust. The inside is completely corroded because in order to get a, a thread on hot dip galvanized parts, the threads are put in afterwards. Here's another buckle that was in with the other ones for a thousand hours in the salt spray cabinet. This was Armor Gal Thermal Diffusion Bronze, done as an assembly, and as you can see, very simple to unscrew, use it the way it was intended to be used, and rescrew it. The threads work very nicely because they don't have to be chased. Armor Galv Thermal Diffusion being an extremely uniform coating inside and out. Another important feature of Armor Galv Thermal Diffusion is its ability to coat cast iron and forgings, like these once upon a time two pieces. Because of the iron in the surface, the thermal diffusion coating is very easily welded. You can see these two pieces have been welded together. We coated the weld, the weld with Armor Galv Cold Galv, put the parts in salt spray for a thousand hours, 
see a little bit of this false rusting. The weld is perfectly protected, and this part is good and holds together for many, many, many years. If you would like to obtain more information about Armor Galve Thermal Diffusion, or would like Kemplate to do some parts for you in uh, Armor Galve so that you can test them yourselves, please contact us and we'll be very happy to accommodate you.